Hello fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to do an unboxing. This is number, I think it's 23. Let me look. It is. This is number 23. I've been putting together an unboxing series because one of the saddest things is when I'm on my Facebook social media and I see that somebody posts, I received an order and I'm so disappointed. And so I want to make sure that I've got a video series out there that helps everybody so that if you're buying from a specific vendor, you have a pretty good idea what to expect. So today's unboxing comes from Angel Gardens and they're located in Florida. And I've been talking about them for a long time now. I put in this order a few months ago and Pam, who is the owner of Angel Gardens, is so passionate about her work that she said, they're not ready yet. Give me a little bit longer. And so we just kept on, you know, checking in with her and she'd say a little bit longer. I want them to, you know, get a little bit older. It finally arrived. So I'm so tickled to look at them. So I want you to go to angelgardens.com when you've got some time. Her site, you can lose some time in because there's so much information there and you're going to be able to get a really good feel for how personable Pam is. She, you can read it in her words. It's almost like you're talking to a friend, you know, when she's putting her information out there. She has links and facts to why own root, why organic, how to fertilize. She's got some great tables in there on some fertilizer treatments that you can do yourself at home. So she has her own YouTube page. She's got a blog. She has written for um, several different publications. So let's talk a little bit more about Angel Gardens. Um, they offer a thousand varieties of antique and modern roses. They are en route, no chemical fertilizers or insecticides. She's the one that clued me in a couple of months ago that because she is not defoliating the rose, it could be that during traveling in this box that it will get humid and get black spot on the leaves. So she wants to prepare people for that. And I've prepared you also. If you ever unbox a rose that has black spot, easy to defoliate. And guess what? In two weeks, it's going to look brand new and beautiful. Are you going to talk to the same person when you reach out? Yes, it's going to be Pam. Uh, she is the sole owner. She, so this is a small business women owned and what's also really nice about Pam that she speaks about I believe in one of her videos is that she started a nonprofit to help veterans so she is just just a gem so the best way to get her is through a phone call and you know pick up and have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with her so let's get to the unboxing what am I expecting I'm expecting four roses I think they are one gallon size but I didn't dig into it with her. I was more concerned with getting a specific variety of rose. And so I don't know, maybe they are quartz, but I think they're gallons, so we'll see. So what do we look for when we unbox a rose? We want to make sure that it's the size that we paid for. <laughs> and I just told you, I don't know what I paid for. So we're going to find out. Are the canes strong and bright green? They're not dry or soft, um, indicating that um, there was a problem in shipment and that they're really stressed. Is the potting material moist? And so when we just did the unboxing from Jay Berry, the rose looked beautiful. The soil was dry, but the rose had hit that point where it became under duress. So as long as it, if it's dry, let's go ahead and get it watered right away, but let's just make sure that the leaves aren't indicating that there is a lot of stress. I have on here inspect the leaves and are they healthy without spots, but we just, we talked about this. I probably need to update that and remove that, that, that it is expected sometimes and it's okay. It's not a reason to contact the vendor and get upset with them because you know what, as gardeners, we all deal with black spot and we know how to deal with it. Um, are the leaves green and healthy and flushing out? So let's go ahead and get in here and see what it looks like. This is a really heavy box and I'm looking at the weight on it. It came through UPS and it's 15 pounds. So it's got some weight to it. She has a sticker on the front of it. So it's very thoughtful here. So a sticker that says, will you accept this rose from Angel Gardens? And it's a little cherub there with roses. And I just find that the small businesses, not only do they take so much pride in their work, but it's the little touches like that 
that let you know that this is really important to them because they know that it's important to you. Let's see. So here's one and I'm going to sit it down here. So this is really nice. She has included a little booklet here that talks about fertilizers, gardening organically, how to care for the rose, soil prep, watering, additives and fertilizers. There's an entire sheet here on things that you could consider adding. She even has the NPK numbers here um, so that you have a lot more information to figure out how you want to fertilize your rose. So, this is awesome. I can tell that these have been watered in really well because they've got that weight to them. So let's go ahead and open this one. She's got some nice supports here. Look at this little baby. I don't know the name of this one. I'll have to look inside, but you see I've got a bloom. Little tiny babies. Look at that. It looks very healthy and nice and a beautiful green and little hints of fresh red growth that is changing over to the green color. Let's go ahead and dig into this one. The plastic is covering this pot so that you're not going to have to worry about soil coming out of it during shipment. I'm going to take these supports out to make it easier to get the, the bag off. This is apricot candy, and I'm telling you, the soil is moist. Oh, it's sad. It did have a little bit of a, a lost um, bloom here, but this rose is nice and strong. So looking at this, the canes are smaller than a pencil um, when you're thinking about that size, but there are, if you can see here, uh, two really nice canes here. This one is very exciting. This is a out of production David Austin and it's called Marinette. So this one, it got bent in um, shipment, but I'm gonna see if I can, <laughs> I can prop it up a little bit. But look at this little tiny sweet new bloom. So this one has a little bit more height on it and nice red growth. This one is a quart size. So you can see this one's smaller, but I told her, I said, you know what, I, I want it as soon as you can get it to me and you feel comfortable that um, it is healthy enough to make the trip. So I am fine that this isn't a quart. This is White Midland. This is a ground cover rose. Look at that. So really beautiful. I do try to, this one does have just a hint of black spot on it, but as we discussed, I expected that going into this and we're fine with that. So there we go. Um, so this one has a little bit larger canes on it, um, but all in all, this looks like a very happy rose. I'm gonna use this cane and I'm going to stake it to this one. Okay, so this one here is Colette. She is staked up here. She, Colette is a climber. It'll be fun to see as an own route how quickly she takes off. I've been reading that um, sometimes it takes two years for her to really kind of settle in and, and start doing anything. So we'll be patient with her, but this one looks great. A lot of fresh new growth. So if we think about these roses size compared to our other vendors, I think they're right in line with Roses Unlimited. I think they're in the same size and quality as Roses Unlimited. The apricot candy is a little smaller than, um, than what I would get from Roses Unlimited, but I think that the rest of them, talking about height, but you know what, this apricot candy, I'll have to check it, the root ball might be substantial. So let's go ahead and get into the descriptions. So Apricot Candy is the winner of the 2008 Rose Hills International Rose Trials. This delicate rose fragrance adds to the classic elegant elegance of this new soft apricot hybrid tea. Excellent flower shape and a novel easy on the eye color that is nevertheless strong enough to withstand the heat without fading. The ruffle edged petals contrast nicely with the soft green foliage either on the plant or in a vase. 
a good performer on both coasts, and above average resistance to disease. The size of this rose is a five by two, and so, you know, two feet, it's a narrow rose, so that might be fun to kind of tuck in in one of the beds. It's rated excellent by helpmefind.com. That ground cover, white metaland, I'm really looking forward to trying that one. It says, this low growing shrub has lush, tough foliage and non-stop blooms. The pure snow white blooms make a clean, spectacular show from spring until fall. A wonderful ground hugging flowering shrub that is ideal for banks and rocky areas. Of the Medellin Gang, white is the more manageable ground cover with the largest flowers. It's an old rose style on a sturdy plant with glossy, deep green foliage. Best performer in mild climates. I don't know, I might be considered mild. Well, we're gonna see. <laughs> okay, the spread. Um, so this one is two foot high. So that is, you know, kind of short by six foot wide. So I can't wait. You know, I've got, um, I do have, well, you can see here, I've got box hedge that I've been putting around the yard. So I'll have to think, you know, right in front of a set of, you know, four roses, this might be fun sitting in front of that. And what I love about white is that it, goes with anything. I could put it in a hedge of oranges, stripes, pink, white, it's fine. Just like my limelights, white goes with everything and then it allows something else to be the star of the show. Oh, and that's rated excellent by helpmefind.com. Colette, it says, um, while weaving up arbors and pergolas, threading through fences or spiling around pillars, this extremely disease resistant, large flowered climber flushes throughout the season with quartered, old-fashioned blooms boasting 135 ruffled pink petals. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. It has an intense damask fragrance. This height is going to be nearly seven foot. I'm going to share with you in the future the obelisks that I use in my garden. I have some that are eight foot um, and this would be perfect for that. Marionette, which is one of the ones I'm super excited about because I love collecting David Austin roses. There's certain collections that I love. I'm really enjoying Paul Barden from Rogue Valley and then of course David Austin's. I want to collect all of them just so that I can see how they perform in my yard. So anyways, um, Marinette is also called Auscam, A-U-S-C-A-M, and it's from 1995. It's pink with a moderate fragrance, large semi-double to double bloom form, and it's an occasional repeater in the season. So sometimes when I'm looking at roses, I would say I want one that is a dependable rebloomer. But, you know, I have so many other shining stars in the garden that if this one only wants to give me one or two blooms a season, that's okay. Uh, let's see. The size is five foot by four foot, and there was no rating on helpmefind.com. So I want to get better about trying to figure out how to help with those ratings on helpmefind.com. So I'll do a little bit of research and let you all know how we can all contribute to being able to put those ratings in. Okay, so the price breakout. I paid $20 for the white Medeland. So that one was, uh, you know, that was a gallon. Apricot candy was 25, Colette was 25, and Marinette was 25. I spoke with you all yesterday about the American Rose Society discounts that are available. Angel Gardens ensures that for all ARS members that you have 10% off. So I did get that uh, 10%. Shipping was $30. And I know why it's so expensive because she waters them so well to make sure that they can get through shipment. So plan for that shipping. There's a handling fee on every order of $5 and then the credit card fee, $4.50. Can't get away from that. My total was $1.25 for what I paid here for today. So we're able to do a comparison of the overall cost. The easiest way for me to do, which I've been doing since February, is saying, if I buy 10 roses from this vendor, how much is it gonna cost? And the reason why we say 10 is because certain incentives are offered if you're over a certain dollar threshold or a certain number of roses, and it just seemed like 10 roses covered all of the vendors to be able to grab those discounts. Um, so for Angel Gardens, if we buy 10 roses at that most expensive cost, whatever size she's offering, it would be $25 a rose, it's going to be $250. 
the shipping, I had her calculate it for me, it should be about $50. So that brings the total for 10 roses to $300. It was shipped through UPS, that took about three days to get here. Her guarantee is three months. And I don't want you to get scared about that um, because when you're working with a small business, sometimes there's some flexibilities there. If you're, if you're documenting early and working with her that there might be an issue, I don't think you're gonna have a problem with Pam. She is so kind and wants you to love your roses as much as she does. So let's look at that overall rack and stack now. And we have so many vendors now, 23 that we're looking at. Keep in mind that if you decide to do just one rose or two roses, this breakout might change slightly based on not being given in certain incentives. So if you have an opportunity to buy the same rose from four different vendors, just do the price breakout yourself and see what makes sense and then refer back to the un other unboxings that I've done so that you know size and what to expect. I hope that this video was helpful and that you'll check out um, Angel Garden's website, talk to Pam, or uh, check her inventory and see if there's something that you're interested in. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I've got one more unboxing that I know of and that is coming in October. So it's gonna be here before you know it. And that will be from Freedom Gardens. So thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.